Plastic with jaw sculpting for this handsome guy. The main objective of this procedure is to give him a very strong chin. He has chin that's not that projected right now, both in the horizontal and vertical dimension. I'm going to explain what I mean when I say that. So you can see the lips. I think he's very familiar with these dialogues. He's laughing. Yeah, so the lips are pretty thick. And you can see this is a very deep fold. This is because this height of the chin is not adequate for him. So we need to augment this and we've planned to do it by 7 to 8 millimeters. But not only this, we're also going to bring it forward. So this is almost like a square now from this side. So once it comes down, it's going to come down this way. So we've got about 14 millimeters of plan to augment it in this direction, which will eventually translate to about 10 mm on the horizontal and 8 on the vertical. So when we do that, what basically is going to happen is his facial proportions are going to improve. So his lower third of the face is not that strong right now. So we're going to make that proportional to his middle and upper third. And we're also going to make the chin broader and more in the front direction. So the procedure is done from inside the mouth. The anesthesia is given from the nose. And usually patients tend to stay with us for about four to five days at least. And this is going to take me about an hour and a half. Thank you. Hundred. Yeah, open your mouth and breathe. Huh? Take deep breath. So you can see before and after genioplasty with jaw sculpting here. The lower third of the face has been augmented both in the horizontal and vertical dimension by 14 and 8 millimeters respectively. Okay. Uh, it will become thinner than this, hundred yeah. percent. Wait for some time, sure. Because the lip muscles are like this, okay. Mm. I am pulling it with this here, so it will go inside and it becomes small. Now five days over. Ah, okay. Uh, I also feel uh, numbness here. I also ah. hoping for the best. It will happen. But 100%. when I see the mirror, my first image, if anyone see first. Nose and lips. See in this position. This position may yeah, chin. differ. Chin and nose. Correct. No, no, there will be huge improvement. You don't worry. Also, your upper lip will be a little bit different. Little. Because these muscles they are pulled. No, this must see your upper lip here. Mm. It is not looking very good. It is a little flabby. Okay. Not tight. It will, be, it will become tight now. Okay. You see later on. Observe all the changes. Wait for three months. Take same before after photo, compare and see the changes. Lower lip, lot of changes. Upper lip, very little changes. Chin, huge change will be there. Upper lip, I am a little bit comfortable. Lower lip only, upper lip. Okay, now also it is good, looking good, upper lip. Yeah, lower lip is the brunt of the surgery. Mm. We cut the lip and then go inside, you know. So it takes a while mm. for all of that to heal and everything. Mm.
will actually you don't need to actually see the error also ni pidi ela gloves tha so this is 5 days now uh, this is genioplasty jaw sculpting you want to turn that side a little bit yes so you can see this huge improvement in the chin okay now straight uh, like the <laughs> so you can see the improvement here as well so the chin has become totally proportional to his face uh, this is the lower third middle third upper third of the face by augmenting the chin by giving it that extra amount of projection by giving it that support that growth or that excess that gives the proportion to the face put together then we also going to show some more views look at my side please so you see here this angulation was not also correct he had a small step there a little double chin and that's going to go also you can look up yeah you can see this view too where you can clearly appreciate the difference in the facial height all right so we go back to the first view down yeah so you can see in this now the even the subtle change i was just explaining to him about the upper lip subtle change the lower lip is swollen this is all swelling because the surgery is done in this part of the chin and uh, once it heals then all of that is going to be really nice okay so we'll tell you how to apply that ointment and uh, you have to apply the ointment now for the next few days or ointment is like a protection because the surgery was done from inside the mouth so it's better that you have some protection against oral fluids saliva this that otherwise rarely somebody can get infected okay and the tanam gel ad podu gel mud eduta so uh, you can see inside yeah yeah just see inside with the mirror so how i'm just holding the lip a little bit and this is the gel so you just have to squeeze it in okay mm -hmm. and then just you see that it just mm -hmm. moves along the mm -hmm. teeth mm -hmm. and this is a physical barrier mm -hmm. okay that's all finished colors do not pull your lip to see oh, that okay. thing only this you have to do that's all your job and this you can do uh, i recommend every time before meals so before breakfast before lunch before dinner but then you can do it even four times for having tea also no problem like i said just squeeze it in one area and spread it if you have someone to help you they can also do that absolutely not a problem um next thing don't sleep on the sides because you know it's strong but uh, people sleeping on the sides less than one month before can move the mm. segment even by one or two millimeters uh, third thing is don't give any chin support or any um, people make don't pick make kids sit on your lap suddenly you can have some trauma this and that uh, take our antibiotics take the painkiller lot of chewy food wait for four weeks otherwise you can eat pretty much everything like rice fish and mm -hmm. dal and all that okay right so a strong chin is very often a real indicator of a strong personality and i have seen this time in and time out for so many years now after we have given patients a strong chin this is because um it's a personality that gets improvement but like i say a lot of my patients um, they also have significant improvement in their speech some of them have improvement in their breathing depending on what kind of job procedures we do so yeah but uh, you remember bone takes minimum 4 weeks to heal so we have to be a little bit more cautious for that much time okay All right thank you